What happened to me in the past year? I would say everything and nothing. <laughs> If you're new here, I'm Amrita and I'm currently living in Toronto and I moved here from Mumbai in December 2022. Roughly a year and a half ago. Now during this time, a lot of things happened and naturally it changed me in many ways. I've recently completed my postgraduate studies and I'm in the process of looking for a job. Now that is extremely chaotic. So I have been gone for a couple of months again. <laughs> But as always I'm back and I'm not giving up on my channel ever. This is truly a space that makes me feel motivated and keeps me going. Okay, so Let's just start with how much happened this year. I hopped on a flight without a return ticket. I got to travel and explore new places. I had countless 50 nights, fell in love with my campus, fell in love with random trails, continued journaling my thoughts, learned the Grow Transit announcement by heart, tried yet another time to be regular at the gym, partied with my friends, <laughs> learned to play blackjack and won $4600 of fake money <laughs> um watched many sunsets tried to push myself even when i was about to give up ate a lot of food exploited my bank account under the name of retail therapy cooked amazing meals made myself a home cleaned my room a million times danced with my friends had my graduation gave myself haircuts i made a snowman um drowned myself in skin care and assignments and at times tears <laughs> that list would just go on and on naturally you are surrounded by new people i made new friends i am lucky i call them my friends today because without them i don't think i would have been able to survive this roller coaster alone Um I've spoken more about how the moving to Canada and the whole living in Canada aspect is or was in another video in case you're interested in that you can click on the pop up wherever you see it. Okay. But today is more of a general reflection of life lately. Now I'm a water sign, I'm a Gemini and I almost always change my entire personality when I'm in a new setup. I adapt, I mold myself to fit into this new space. Now this is a good thing, yes, but if you aren't a strong-headed person, this can influence you to an extent where you start questioning your belief system or like your thoughts. So, back in the beginning of 2023, I totally underestimated how hard it would be to grasp the pace at which life was happening. Now when I look back at it, it was a real eye opener. but i just got through it like we all do i guess while i had molded myself to fit into the new surrounding i slowly started feeling the guilt of accepting this changed person that i was becoming you know when you have changed and when you would react to things differently now as compared to how you did earlier in most cases this new reaction was something that was bothering me and i think it was great that i was changed as a person because there was a lot of growth of course but what bothered me was the way it affected my some of my long term friendship um it felt like i started losing the relatability or felt like we were not on the same page anymore not by choice but by the virtue of the kind of interactions we had and now the main reason could be that um we are geographically in different places and we're not in person so in general relationships any kind of relationships are difficult to maintain from a distance so it went from having them very close to me when it was easier to communicate and um speak to them about how you felt when you felt it and it went from that to getting replies or not getting replies or um, when you send messages or send a picture or something or in some cases not 
being in touch at all um it is kind of painful because it is like you took a path on a parallel road thinking that we would still be next to each other in a sense but then you learn that you know it's just not how it works anyways all of that leaves you with a feeling of anxiousness in general uh makes you overthink each and everything that they do or say um i haven't exactly made peace with those thoughts yet but that was a major part of my um of my year <laughs> and it changed the way i communicate with them or how much i let them in i made my fair share of blunders because i overreacted on occasions and i i mean i have had those moments not my finest moments but hey you live and you learn right so through all of this the only thread that kept me hanging to that friendship or to that um, connection was that it will all be fine when we meet again and i still continue my efforts to reduce that distance that i feel with every interaction i have with them now through all of this i feel like my family has been my rock i may not tell them everything or each and every single detail of of my life because it gets difficult when you're uh, speaking only for like an hour uh, and you have to kind of concise everything that happened in your day in that period of time but i never go a day without speaking to them and that has really been the most important part of my life now in terms of my daily life i was managing a lot i had my part time jobs and the struggles of starting in a new country and a new education system being the extremely ambitious self that i am i pushed myself very hard I maxed out my capacity on some days and I was grateful for having people who cared to be there for me on those days. Um and while I was building this new stronger self there was a flip side where there was confusion and uncertainty. It often led to not feeling motivated to stick to a plan or to like tick off all the goals, weekly goals or monthly goals. Like YouTube for that example. YouTube has been on my bucket list for a very long time. I think it was 2015 when I started uh, or when I first wanted to make a YouTube channel, but I did not have the brains or the means for uh, doing that at that point. Finally, I took that step in 2022, uploaded a couple of videos here and there, and if you've been with me for a while or if you have had a chance to look at my videos or historically what I've been uploading, I feel you might notice the shifts I had in my content as well. I started with makeup and skincare. I shifted to vlogs and I hit a 50k on one of the vlogs. Um shifted to making voiceover vlogs, which is something like this. Um where I spoke about my feelings and emotions and and after that I also tried to do a little bit of study with me <laughs> in my submissions phase. But that itself shows how much change has happened in me over the period of time because youtube youtube has been a mirror to my state of mind um my mood has its phases and those directly translate into everything that i do obviously this isn't exactly beneficial for the algorithm or anything but that's just how my brain's algorithm is But now finally I feel confident to say that I have found my space in the kind of content I want to continue making. Uh voice over vlogs um about how I feel and what I'm feeling or a place that I went to and how I felt after I went there or whatever. In general about something that has happened in my life, good or bad. I feel like I'm able to express myself much better in this format and more than anything I feel like it helps me overcome a lot of things when I express myself here. All of these things over the past year have really taught me a lot and I am pretty excited about the changes I have started making. They are pretty slow but I hope they stay steady. Um looking forward I am really pumped about trying new things and taking on new challenges and my biggest challenge is going to be the job hunt that I'm doing right now. I think every international student will relate with this 
and i try to keep myself um positive i make affirmations and i try to manifest all the good things that i want to happen to me in my life keeping my head held high like miley cyrus would say but all said if i look back at the year i spent being confused overstimulated and highly unsure about my life and my decisions i still see baby steps of growth i see how i have started appreciating the small things in life now um in this world of 3 second attention spans and meaningful scrollings that we do on our phones i appreciate the 2 hours that it takes to make a really good meal i appreciate the moments with my chosen family my friends where while we are doing our everyday tasks like cooking together chit chatting in the bed at like 4 am in the morning and it just makes my heart full and i have realized that there will be times when you would just take your earphones off and pay attention to the noise of your thoughts first and that is my first step of recovery <laughs> every time that happens that noise is in my brain uh if i have to list down my biggest lessons this year i think it would be this you are your biggest cheerleader so even though we almost always need someone to lean on to try to be that person for yourself and i think this lesson has been with me for more than just this past year because back in 2018 i wrote a poem that was called jung and that kind of revolves around the same topic i haven't been able to share it with anyone yet and i haven't really spoken about it ever but i hope i do and i want to be ambitious and say that i want my next upload to be that poem <laughs> let me know if you guys would be interested uh the second one the second learning or the second lesson would be don't try to hold on to how other people's behaviors or reactions um or to something that you have said or done it might not be the best use of your time and energy um it just keeps you caged in your own thoughts because that will obviously lead to further overthinking and you will be stuck in that vicious circle this obviously will not be the first thought that comes to your mind when this actually happens but try to remind yourself of it or maybe watch this video again <laughs> if that helps and the third one is something that i read online um and it really felt like i needed that advice on a daily basis it's this if it won't matter in the next 5 years just drop it in the next 5 minutes and i'm still trying to implement this but i feel like this is going to be a game changer for someone who overthinks like me I think these are really the top lessons that I learned and of course more are on their way with all the new things that are constantly happening in our lives at this point. I hope I will have more time now because I'm done with my studies. So definitely making content on YouTube will be a major source of my motivation and entertainment to keep myself going. But what about you? Is there something that you learned or something that you would like to share? um have you got any big plans or goals coming up i would love to hear about what's going on with you too so drop a comment below and let's chat about it and finally i also want to thank you for joining in today if you have stuck around till the end i truly appreciate the time that you spent with me today and i hope to see you again soon so subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell notification so you are notified every time i upload a video which i promise will be more often and thank you so much bye